After the release of Reventoli Coast, the Awaroa National Park has become arguably one of the best reserves in the game. It is now a fantastic map to make money quickly, and also to get a lot of trophies because it's now full of fantastic locations. So the goal of this period is to show you the best locations and times as well as every single hotspot map to hunt all the species on this New Zealand reserve. I'm actually surprised, because that is a massive Zika deer, and it's not a level 5. You know it has clearly the small diamond rack, which means that even though it's not a max level, it is still has a chance to make diamond. So I really want to see what it scores, I would say it has a decent chance to make it. I found this guy in what is one of the best locations to hunt Zika deer on the entire map. This area is really really good to find males, and certainly a most visit location if you want to find a diamond Zika deer. It's also somewhat decent for feral pig and turkey, but it's mainly good for Zika deer. Ok, we're gonna shoot this level 4, and hopefully he's big enough. He is down. We shot it with the muzzle loader, which in my opinion it's an amazing rifle, and quite underrated I would say. It has a nice looking rack. Definitely the small level 5 rack, which I imagine has a chance to make diamond even on a level 4. Although unfortunately this time it fell short. For less than a point it was close. As I said the last spot was quite decent to hunt Zika deer and feral pig, but I wouldn't say it is the best location to hunt the species, because in my opinion this area right here is by far the best place to find drink zones, or in the case of the Merriam Turkey the best place to find feed zones. They like to feed around the river, and being such an open area of course it's gonna visit to spot him. Ok, so the locations I just mentioned are part of what I like to call the home range number one, which essentially consists of this area on the left side of the map. It is the only home range inhabited by Zika deer, and one of the two home ranges where you can find Feral Pig and Merriam Turkey. And I have to say this is a rough representation of what the actual home range would look like, but I would say it is still very accurate. And in fact, especially in the case of the pigs and the Zika deer, the exact lakes in which they can drink is the most important thing to remember. Now we're gonna go over the best locations where you can find the species that inhabit the home range number 2. The second home range is very similar to the first one, in terms of the species that live on it. I mean, this area is also inhabited by feral pigs and turkeys, being it the second and last home range in which they live. The difference though is that on this case the fallow deer replaces the Zika deer as the main species present on the region. This whole second home range could be considered the fallow deer paradise. You know there are many herds, of course many bugs and possibly several big males. And there is also the region where you can find what is hands down the best location to hunt fallow deer in actually the whole game. It is simply the best. You know there are several zones and herds around the lake and it's very easy to turn it into an actual money and diamond farm. Like really if you place a tent in a tripod exactly in the center of the lake, you are gonna be able to spot and shoot everything around the shore, and then if you also place a tent on each side, you are gonna be able to harvest everything quickly, and also to spot and shoot the herds that may spawn at the center of the lake the ones that will be drinking next to a main tent. In addition to less location, this part of the river is also fantastic to look for fallow deer drink zones, and also a quite decent spot to look for feral pigs either if they are drinking or feeding, they usually feed near the river on the open area same as the turkeys, so it's not a bad option to visit this place at any of their feed times, or any of these locations which are the best to hunt the species while they are feeding. That's a big boy. 146 to 177, that is a guaranteed diamond. Feral pick. The diamond score is 144, so it has a 100% chance to make it. It's getting a bit far, around 300 meters right here. So we're gonna shoot it with the 308. That will be enough. 
the health is going down, and he's down. A nice trophy to find, especially because the last time I played the Aurora was way before Revan to the coast. Let's see how big it is. 153.4 Diamond. Quite a big diamond. I mean, it has a decent score, it ain't huge, but it still is quite big. I would say that the most noticeable change that this map suffered after the Rebontulicos update is definitely the removal of the Chami drink tank, which essentially means that they have become, without any doubt, the most challenging species to hunt on the updated De Aurora National Park, especially because they are only present around the base and the slope of a couple mountains, so it can be quite hard to spot them, especially because on this reserve the mountain bases are not precisely open, but fortunately as always there are some decent locations where you can spot them easily. For instance, if you place a tent exactly right here, you are gonna have easy access to these two areas which are fairly open and also really good to find chummy feed zones and resta zones. And at least on my map it is the single best spot to hunt chummy of all the locations that make up what could be considered the chummy home range. It doesn't look like the other home ranges because it is separated in different areas, but since all these areas are exclusively for Chami, I think they should be considered a single home range. The third one. Ok, before we finish this video, we're gonna go over the best spots to hunt the species that inhabit the last home range, which I would say is the region with the most insane hotspots in the entire game and mainly to hunt red deer, which now drink from 6 to 10 am. You know, there are some lakes that are insane, especially these 5 lakes are loaded with red deer. Look at that. You can literally kill hundreds of stacks in a short time by just grinding these lakes. I mean, there are many more locations where they can drink, but these spots are more than enough. And that is the reason why this map has become by far the best reserve to get a great one red deer. There's no contest. And while well, the second species that inhabits this home range is the feral goat. They share the exact same locations with the red deer, so you can expect to find them around the same lakes, and also around some really nice areas to hunt feed zones for these two species. There is no way to tell for sure. But I must say that Goat has a high chance to make diamond. Even though like only 1 or 2 of every 10 level 5s are big enough, the estimate on this one is really promising. And I would say that is a good reason to be optimistic. We're gonna take him down using the solo king. Let's see. Alright. Not the best shot. We missed the heart. But we got a single long. Now let's see if it is actually a diamond. Ok, I cannot say I'm disappointed, but you know it's kinda sad it really looked big. 